Health matters now. The federal government should review the nation's policy on importation to accommodate the free importation of scientific equipment. A professor of molecular and cellular parasitology and the deputy vice chancellor of the University of Medical Sciences, Professor Rosangela Nwoba, was delivering a lecture organized by the Osho State University in Oshogo. TVC News' Rafiu Hamid was there. It is a maiden memorial lecture in honor of the pioneer provost of the College of Health Sciences, Osho State University, Professor Taiwo Adiwole. The lecture is with the theme, Molecular Biology Resource Constraint Settings in the 21st Century, Visibilities, Realities and Impacts. The guest speaker says over dependence of the nation's health and medical education on foreign companies for supply of needed tools is not only disturbing, what remains the major constraint to medical profession in Nigeria. If it's a scientific importation, let's allow them to import this. If I want to buy a luxurious car, it's different. But if I want to do research, and it's very important for the benefit of the population, they should allow it to continue. We need to study chemical and physical structures of biological micromolecules in an environment characterized by death of equipment and the required resources for such. In almost every academic discourse today, funding is a recurring issue, and the study of and research on molecular biology is not left out. Professor Nwuba calls for an urgent need for governments to champion the provision of adequate tools for research and innovative solutions to African challenges, particularly in molecular biology, as demonstrated during the outbreak of COVID-19. That's why the developing countries, developed countries are much better than us. But I thank God that COVID happened in a way and so many laboratories were opened. At least those labs, even without COVID, can be used for research. So it's possible if there's a commitment in higher levels and leadership for us to succeed in this country. The importance of molecular testing for accurate diagnosis and optimal therapeutic management of patients infected with microorganisms is well established. Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Clement Adeboye, says insufficient funding for universities should not be an excuse for academics and researchers to secure more grants. The memorial lecture was well attended by families and mentees of the deseased. Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Ushubu.